Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy. This is Jake, and this is your weekly update. So, take hey, a do not tune out. Do not tune yes. out. We've got a big surprise coming. No, you're not going to want to miss this. In a couple of minutes, you're not going to want to miss this. Share this on all your platforms. Uh, that way, we can get the news out. Let me mention a couple of things. This Sunday, fifth Sunday of the month, uh, we're going to have Kona Ice here. Uh, Ashley and our children's uh, ministry does on the fifth Sunday something fun for our kids every time this rolls around. And so if your kid is here this Sunday, they get a free cone of ice, and that is so awesome. And then if you want to go get a cone of ice afterwards, uh, you have to pay for it, That's but your right. kids don't. But uh, That kind of falls in line with our vision. You know, the next generation. We adults buy the stuff so the kids it. can have it for free. It's yep. kind of what we do around here. So be looking for that in the parking lot this week. You might share that with your other friends that maybe don't go here. They can come by. And get a cone of eyes because that'll benefit our children's ministry as well. Also, the last two Sundays, we've been talking about service and we've had tables set up out in the hallway. I know some of you guys uh, have still not kind of honed in where you're going to be, so we want to offer a serve catalog to you. It's online on our website, summitheightsfellowship.com under serve now. You can look at that. It's all updated with all the contacts and ministry heads where you can look at that because I know some people are still praying about where they're oh, going to yeah. serve. Oh, and yeah. so um, even you guys that are at home uh, can go look at that and uh, you're engaged but you're still staying at home and we get that so you can look at that contact them and get um, get plugged in engaged so I know Jake you have a couple things you want to mention I got one thing one. small group Sunday this Sunday we're gonna be having we're gonna be relaunching our small groups we'll have all of our small groups on display I'm so excited. we've got a plethora of small groups available that's, a big word. that's my new word for this that's week big word. last week I, my word was in the hopper by the way shout out to Dana Perino on the five Fox News she used that phrase yesterday yep. I know she's a big fan of our weekly updates. Anyway, we're going to have a lot are of small you, group are you options. Tag her in that? I am. Are you tag I this am. Video yeah. Like absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, if you're going to be watching online, we'll have a link come up where you can uh, do a response card in, that you are interested in small groups. I'm excited. We're going to be talking about, man, I'm excited about this. This guy, Jesus, you may have heard of him. We're going to be looking at what we can learn through his ministry about small groups. It's, it's going to be good. awesome. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And, you know, we learned a whole lot over the last 10 months, 11 months, whatever this has been. <laughs> Seems like two years. It's been but, months. Um, about the importance of community. And so that's where we're going to be talking this Sunday. Jake's going to be sharing. I'm really excited about that. Now, well, God's going to be sharing. He's going to just be using me as a vessel. That's kind of like how I like to couch that. You always, you always have to be super serious. Man, I'm, let's get to our surprise. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's, so, so a couple of months ago, we told you that we were going to be introducing new staff members. Not well, new, not, not new, new, but yeah. our staff members. Because we yeah. talk about these guys. We, you hear us mention them from stage all the time. And so we want to introduce our very first staff member this week. And um, do, you, do you hear something playing? I think, I think, what is it? Wait a minute. I think it's Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Paula Woodson. Paula Woodson. Yes. We're so excited. And uh, that's one of her favorite songs, by the way, is uh, Stevie Yeah, Paula Nicks. used to frequent some uh, karaoke establishments back in the day, and she would sing Stevie Nicks tunes. Hold, hold, hold. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. See, we nicknamed Paula the Glue. Because she is. She is the glue yeah. that holds everything together here at Summit Heights Fellowship. Yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about oh, Paula. Edward, 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 I've what? got that. I've you got need to do some bio work. Well, I knew we were going to be introducing staff members, so I've been researching our staff members, and uh, I got a lot of interesting facts about Paula that I think I our people would enjoy. Um, so did you know that the first record of glue was actually found in King Tutankhamun's tomb. So we know that the ancient uh, Egyptians were using glue. We don't know anything before that. That's the first record that we have. The first commercial glue was invented in 1690 in the country of Holland. And in America, we spend $11 billion a year on adhesives. I mean, that's, that's just incredible. Um, there's five types of glue. All right, there's solvent glue, there's water-based glue, there's the two-part glue, there's animal glue, and then this is kind of where, where Paula fits in, there's super glue. Now, super glue was invented in 1942, and it is believed that one square inch of super glue can hold a ton. Dude, and that's, that's what she does, man. She holds us all together. She's the one that just... 
keeps us from just, you know, going off on tangents and kind of like going this. crazy. Kind of like, like, yeah, like. exactly. <laughs> uh, and I thought he was going to do a biographical sketch of you and that. So I'll tell you a little bit about Paula. She is the glue. We joke around about that all the time. And uh, those facts are mindless information that no man should know, but Jake does. Um, Paula was originally hired as my assistant here at Summit Heights to keep me straight. And uh, she still does that, but she does so much more. Uh, she basically runs everything here during the week and yeah. keeps us in line and uh, makes sure things are happening. So Paula, uh, if you described your job here, um, what would you say that you do here? Um, I'm a behind the scenes support person is the way I look at it. But I take care of all these little things that these guys don't need to worry about so that they can do ministry they can uh, love on people they can um, study so they can do these awesome messages on sunday uh, they can look at the future cast some vision uh, they don't have to worry about uh, if the toilet's running or the roof is leaking or you know if our insurance has been paid you know things like that so um they can look at their calendar and see if it's clear or crowded or <laughs> which I'm not allowed to do that anymore because that's what Paula does for me in fact this weekend I made an appointment and I didn't check with you didn't check with my wife and I had to like delete it so I just think um, it's real cool what a testimony you know I don't like doing all those things but I like to love on people Paula doesn't like to love on people but she likes <laughs> to do all those little that's things not true. That's and so not we true. work as a great team together <laughs> that, that that's um yeah, she does love people, okay? So don't listen to Jake again. It's uh, his, yeah, anyway. So uh, you're married, right? Yes. How long? Um, be 39 years in April. David? David Woodson. Yep, yes. yep, that's incredible. That's awesome. And you have been doing church top work for how many years? Um, about 25 years. Wow, wow, what a blessing um, that, that we have you here. No, it's, it's a blessing to be here, it uh, is. We love you, I'm telling you. We, we couldn't do what we do without you. So we signed Paula to a 28 year contract when we hired her. Um, how long have you been here? Uh, um, let me see, this would be um, what, uh, seven years that we moved here. So about six years. So we have 26 South, yeah. years oh. on contract right now. <laughs> Uh, we're adding to that as it goes. We're going to sign her to an extension contract and free agency here coming up during this season. Uh, so we're excited about that. Paula, I got a question for you. What is your favorite thing about working at Summit Heights? Oh, that's easy. She offices right next to me. So working with me that? every day, <laughs> working with me every day. Um, actually, Jake, that's the next question. What, what does she dread most about here? Oh, Summit? sorry. I was reading the teleprompter. Uh -huh. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, what's your favorite thing? What, what would you say? Um, the mission, the mission of Summit mm -hmm. Heights. Um, we wanted to be a part of a church that wanted to love on people and, and tell them about Jesus. And so that's what we found here. I was a little apprehensive when we were moving, like, what if I don't find a church that does that? But mm -hmm. we were very blessed to find Summit and um, like to be a part of that and have a great team of people here. Very diverse team. It is. It's really, I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah. And um, it's everybody kind of has their own different little niches and personalities and ministries and and we come to the table and um it just works out as a as a really great team yeah so. well we're grateful for you oh, uh, I'm, I'm grateful. just amazed at all that you get done around here and um, it just we really appreciate you so here, here's what we want you to do when you see paula on sunday morning um, give her a hug. I know. I, I was kind of hesitant to say that. No, because, give her a uh, hug. So she so loves them. So I'm telling you. Know, you. That, uh, high five, bump, all that kind of stuff. But uh, when you see her walking around, tell her thank you. Because she, I'm telling you, she does so much around here. It's amazing. I, we, we could be on an hour and a half video telling you all the things that she does. And so when you see her on Sunday or you hear her name, you think of Stevie Nicks. I mean, Paula, not Stevie Nicks. Um, edge of 17. Doing that. Um, 
the glue, the glue, Paula, we wanted to give that to you. Oh, thank uh, you. So you can put that on your desk can, now and too. display that. <laughs> and uh, so we, Summit, we love you. Uh, thank you for all you've done this week. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, nine o'clock at risk service, 11 o'clock, uh, family service, children's ministry, all that stuff. Share this on your platforms. Paula, we love you. Thank, thank you for doing this today. We'll see you Sunday. <laughs>